Here we go, let's enjoy football passion with Sherry. Don't miss the amazing lighting activities Sherry will display in selected cities across the globe during the World Cup. Before we continue, you have a chance to win a special surprise by sending the code Fabrizio and Sherry in a direct message to the Sherry International Facebook account. Hey guys, welcome back on the channel, Fabrizio Romano here, as always, to keep you posted on the transfer market, and today, guys, we touch on World Cup and football transfers, because we know how special is the World Cup for players to have the opportunity to show their skills on the international stage, and some of them have a chance to get a move in 2023. Will be January, will be summer, we will see, but for sure, them are expected to move in 2023, and so let's jump into it together. And so guys, at the World Cup we saw many talents, young talents, but not only young talents, also players showing again how good they are and proving again how good they are on the top stage of the World Cup. And so I want to start, of course, with Cody Gakpo. He's been incredible in the group stages with the Dutch national team, scoring three goals, one goal every single game. He was very good also in the game against the USA. So Cody Gakpo is now showing on the best stage that he's ready for a top move. Manchester United wanted him in the summer. They are still in talks with people close to the player, but it's not only my United. There are also other clubs in the race for Cody Gakpo. PSV original plan was to let him go in the summer and not in January, but now after this World Cup, if a bid for more than 50 million euros will arrive, there is a chance for Gakpo to leave in January and I'm told there is a very serious chance. So keep an eye on Cody Gakpo on the market in the next days. Keep an eye, of course, on Jude Bellingham, not for January, but this boy is special. His numbers are incredible. He's 10 goals in this season with Borussia Dortmund and with the English national team. He's providing assists, his leadership. He's born in 2003 and he's still, it's, it's, it's incredible how he's performing. He's really a top talent, one of the best players uh, at this age in the world. And it's important to say that nothing will happen in January, but after the World Cup, there will be a price for Jude Bellingham because Borussia Dortmund will decide the price tag and Liverpool with Jurgen Klopp pushing, but also Manchester City, Chelsea and Real Madrid are in the race for Bellingham. May United dream of him, but they know it's more than difficult for them to sign him in the summer. So keep an eye on Liverpool because Klopp is trying and trying for uh, Jude Bellingham to join Liverpool in the summer, but Real Madrid, City and Chelsea will be there too. So Jude Bellingham for sure will be one to watch. Hakim Ziyech, he's not so young, but he was needing that kind of performances as he had with Morocco in the World Cup. This player is great and he needs to play. This is the point. In the summer, he had a chance with AC Milan, then with Ajax, but Chelsea only wanted a permanent transfer. Not alone, but I think that in 2023, January or summer, he will have a serious chance to leave Chelsea and have a new opportunity. So Hakim Ziyech could be one to watch on the market already in January, if not January, in the summer, because he wants to try something different and when he plays on a consistent base he's showing how good he is as always and then I wanted to mention Josko Gvardiol this center back from Croatia national team top player really there is no 45 million euros in his, in his uh, contract release clause I mean no release clause for 45 that was not true the contract was extended with Leipzig in September but the player knows that in 2023 he will go to a top club Let's see if it's going to be January. Let's see if it's going to be summer also in this case. But Chelsea are actively working on it. But there are also other clubs. Nothing is agreed yet between Chelsea and Josko Gvardiol. And so open race, clubs from Spain, clubs from England, keeping an eye on this top player, almost impossible for Italian clubs. And this is why Gvardiol will be one to watch. And then Enzo Fernandez, not leaving in January because for Benfica he's a key player. There is a release clause in his contract, 120 million euros, but Benfica want to keep the player at least until the end of the season. They will try to convince him to stay for one more year because they love Enzo and they feel that he's the perfect player for the project. But let's see what happens in the summer because many top clubs want Bellingham, but who's not getting Bellingham can try for Enzo Fernandez. And so keep an eye on Enzo too, but it's going to be an interesting 2023 for top 
players also coming out from a great World Cup like Kenzo with Argentina, Gakpo with Netherlands and of course Gvardiol with Croatian national team and Ziyech with Morocco uh, and we have to remind how good were these players at the world. And so guys let me know your thoughts on these players on these potential moves in 2023. If you have to pick one player you want in your team which one? I wait for your comments. Here as always remember to like this video, turn on the notification bell. See you soon here on the channel with Fabrizio Romano. Ciao!